Because sometimes I don't, I want to honk, but I don't want to be rude. But I want to be like, go, you know? I think that would be, you know, hey, move it along. 75 degrees. Everyone should be delighted by seeing the changes in the temperatures, right? 64 degrees in Haleyville. If you're just desperate for some 50s and 60s right now, just hoof it up to Huntsville. You can see where the front's been without even putting the fronts on the maps and the high pressure ridges. You can see that the rain certainly made a huge impact through the Tennessee Valley, Mississippi as a whole. And most of Alabama looks kind of like Neapolitan ice cream here. We have three different shades. We have the cooler air, the mild air and the bubbling heat that is still in South Alabama and into areas along the Gulf Coast. That's where most of the thunderstorms are too. Just spotty showers as this weather feature approached. It had a lot of rain with it and it hit our atmosphere, of course, and began to weaken, thin out, stalling out too, leaving us with spotty showers that I think will linger into this evening as well. So I'm going to keep some rain chances in the forecast. As long as we have humidity, we have weather, we have enough instability to kick up a few showers. This is our WVTM 13 live Doppler and you can see just spotty showers left behind closer to areas of Tallapoosa and Lake Wadawi as well. Over the past hour, we've really seen those rain showers dwindle, but get a little bit closer to the Peach State. So let me get you into your temperatures, your future cast temperatures. Most of us will be sharing the 60s by about 10 p.m. Then we push towards tomorrow morning. The cloudiness will prevent our temperatures from dropping too low, unfortunately, and I do think there will still be a great deal of cloudiness left behind south of 59 and 20. But by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, 58 degrees in Coleman, 59 degrees in Double Springs, and about 60 in Birmingham. That's 40 degrees colder than what we have been dealing with, so you'll probably need a light jacket. Don't be a hero. I know it's there somewhere. He's got to dust it off. From 7 p.m. this evening until 11 p.m. tonight, just keep that rain gear handy just in case you catch a spotty shower because this front is moving so slowly. We do expect to see just a few more showers before all is said and done. Really nice and just a little warmer here Tuesday and on into Wednesday. We'll leave the lingering clouds. Warmest day would be Thursday, and then our next chance for rain, that's going to arrive on Friday. This is going to be the weather feature that will add rain chances to the forecast Friday and heading into your Saturday. But behind it, notice the impacts there along the Great Lakes, a little bit of the white stuff there in Minnesota, but nothing but sunshine behind that system uh, for us this weekend. Ian. I love